peace to all men of goodwill. Peace on earth to men of goodwill. Remember the night when the Divine Redeemer came into the world. Remember his birth but also his death, his act of salvation, for the sake of which he descended to earth. Remember his greater than great love which motivated him to live in the flesh and to subsequently sacrifice himself on the cross in order to bring redemption to humanity from its bondage. He wanted to bring you peace, the salvation of your souls. He wanted to save you from eternal death. He wanted to give you life. He wanted his living creations to become children and fetch them back into the Father's house. He was motivated by his boundless love to descend to earth in order to carry out a work of deliverance in the midst of people, in order to gather his little sheep in order to rescue the lost ones from the claws of the wolf which had broken into his flock because no one was able to stop him. All people were under the control of the one who was his enemy and therefore the Savior came down from above in order to snatch them from his control. However, in return he had to make a sacrifice for the adversary, because he would not release his captives since they voluntarily followed him into the abyss and became as sinful as him. They would have had to pay the ransom themselves and were too weak to do so. But they would also have had to make their own amends with God due to the inconceivable sin of their past resistance to God. They would never have been able to achieve this and thus they would have been enslaved by God's adversary forever had they not received help, had God himself not taken mercy upon them. And he atoned for the guilt on your behalf, he paid the ransom for you, he died on the cross for your sins, he himself redeemed you humans from sin and death. Only love was able to redeem you humans. Hence the eternal love embodied itself in a human being, in a child which was born without sin and in all purity and also remained without sin and pure as long as it lived as a human being amongst people. The human being Jesus accepted the divine love within himself, and this greater than great love for his fellow human being made him accomplish an act of mercy as happened only once in the world. He suffered and died on the cross because love motivated him to offer God the sacrifice of atonement. He took all of humanity's sins upon himself and made amends for them. Love endured everything in order to redeem the people. A great act of compassion commenced when the Savior came into the world. A ray of light fell to earth. It shone brightly into the hearts of the few who languished in their adversity and called upon God for help. The infant Jesus emanated light and a few recognized him as the Messiah, whom seers and prophets had proclaimed to the world, and they paid homage to the small child. They praised and glorified God who had taken pity on them and found peace in their hearts. Yet there were only a few and even today there are only a few who think in their hearts with love and gratitude of the one who sacrificed himself for the sinful human race. But only these few will find peace, only these few can be redeemed who believe in Jesus Christ as God's Son and Redeemer and allow the light to shine into their hearts who humbly bow down to their Savior, who came into the world as the infant Jesus in order to redeem humanity. Amen.